Remy Enjai is a Seed Academy alumni who, since 2017, has worked with the Philadelphia 76ers. He initially worked with the Sixers as their video coordinator and now has worked his way up to be one of the player development specialists. Remy will be joining the Senegalese national team for the upcoming AfroBasket qualifiers as the team's video analyst. Remy, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Coach. Thanks for having me. Uh, really excited to be here and uh, you know, looking forward to this interview. Thank you so much. It's great to have you. So, Remy, not many teams in Africa would have a video analyst as part of their coaching staff. Can you tell us a bit more about your role and what it entails? Well, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be pretty much uh, doing a video scouting, uh, scouting report, and uh, pre-game and, and and post-game stuff. So we'll be helping. I'll be helping Coach Bodie with. Uh, with uh, the opponents, they, like offense, defense, plays, and stuff like that. So it's pretty much just like you know, a lot of details about scouting report. So it's 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 I'm I'm really I'm really excited to do that. And you know, uh, I know Coach Boney is, is really looking forward to it to help the players with uh, with 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 the with the videos. It's great visual feedback for the players, and hopefully, you can be a pioneer that inspires other teams to bring on video analysts as well. Oh, you know, for sure. I, I, I hope, you know, I want it to be uh, a thing now in, 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 in Senegal. I hope all the team can can, uh, can can relate to that and learn from that and just start using the, uh, the, the video the video as a as a support because it's very important. It's, it's very, very important. Now, Senegal is in Group B with Angola, Mozambique and Kenya. Can you break down each of these teams and how you feel Senegal will compete against them? Well, it's 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 a tough group. It's a tough group, and uh, having Angola there it makes it more challenging because we know how they've been on top of this top of the the league for 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 a, for a long time, and 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 we we respect them a lot. And having a uh, Mozambique and and Kenya and you know they those, those coming up those coming up teams that because you know it, it's not going to be very easy at all it's going to be challenging but we're going to come out there and also challenge ourselves and, and, and play hard because you know we played Mozambique uh, you know a couple of times at home we had the home court advantage but you know this one is a neutral site it's going to be a little bit different so we're going to we're going to bring uh, our A game and, and, and keep playing hard and you know getting ready for it. For the challenge. It's definitely more a focus on your own team and what you guys can do rather than a focus on your opponents. Is that true? I mean, I mean, it's it's. I, I would say 50-50, You know, because you 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 have to know who you who you're playing against because you come up without you know having no idea or just kind of like staying back behind. It, it, it wouldn't help, but you know. We, we will challenge ourselves too because it, I mean it starts with us like who we select, who we got, who's 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 willing to to you know to give it all. So it's it's it's, it's you know it will go both ways. So now you've got um, a great group of veterans in the squad list that was released earlier this month. You've got Gorgi, Yuso, Mo, um, Maurice. But you've also got some new faces and a new coach. What can we expect to see from them? Yeah, it's you know everybody everybody's excited and and looking forward to see what uh, what the new coaching staff and new players have uh, have in store. And that's 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 the challenge part that I was that I said earlier. You know, having a new coach like Boney, who was in you know you know who 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 played and 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 has been. You know, all over the world to basketball, and having the young guys coming, Yusu and 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 you know Mo, having the vets Gorgi and having them. That's that's a connection that we needed right there because we wanted the old guys carry on with the young guys to teach them the ways and have them prepared because within in few years, like those rookies, like we call them, like you know, they will take over. They will take over, and, and that's what uh, everybody is. is it's definitely going to be a good mix of veterans and some young up and coming guys. Um, yeah. Excited to see what the new coach puts in place. Uh, uh, as we we know, Senegal has often worn the mantle of the favourites and, you know, have unfortunately 
not been able to live up to that hype, right. do you think this team will be able to live up to that favourite label? I mean, you know, it's it, it, it is, it is. They'll 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 keep favoring us, and and you know, it's 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 on it's on our end now to challenge that 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 favorite. But you know, it's it's been a long time, like you said, that everybody you know saying Senegal, like we'll make it, we'll win, we'll make it, we'll win, and then we'll we'll end it up with a disappointment. But uh, like I said, with the new staff we have and the new guys, I'm, I'm I have very confident that there will be some difference. Now, you've been lucky to be part of the development of Af African basketball over the last several years. Yeah. What areas in specifically do you think have led to this improvement of the game on the continent? Uh, you know, it's with like now the bases and 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 all the the mechanism and the construction that NBA Africa or NBA or the basketball African League is doing now in the territory is is just phenomenal. It's amazing. They creating they creating a lot of potentials right now, and that's that's what we wanted to see for a long period of time. And we see the growth that they're doing right now. The, the NBA Academy, the Seed Academy, and all those academies. It's not creating so many talents because just looking at it this year, like we're having a lot of prospects that. Being that, that are coming from those from those uh, from those uh, buildings that I would say that that the, the African the African authorities or African leaders have created with the youth. So it's 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 phenomenal, and we are all excited to see what the future has with the BAL, the basketball African League, and all that. So we, it's it's phenomenal. Would you say, having you've worked in the NBA now for almost four years, um, going on four, I should say, uh, yeah. do you think there's a general excitement amongst African players in the league about returning to Africa and playing for their national teams? Yes, yes, it is. It is because now, like you know, the, like I just said, uh, the youth is, is 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 growing and. And they are looking up to those guys, and it's very important. Like I know now, they love coming back and playing for their country. Having that that flag on their chest is is it, it means a lot to them. Because in the past, it was hard to get like those guys come back and play for their national team. But now you see it like they 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 won't they can't wait they can't wait to come back and play because they they see. They see what the continent wants. They see what their country wants, and representing them like means a lot. And that helps the youth also to learn from that and have the passion to come and play for their national team. So it's very important. It's very important, and I know that guys love to come back and play for their country. And I think realistically, with all the NBA guys who could come back and play for their national teams, I actually think AfroBasket 2021 is probably going to be the most competitive AfroBasket in the history of the tournament. It, it, it will be. I, I agree. I agree. And it's, it's been a while since the guys since the guys competed with the COVID and stuff like that. And seeing that back, it's going to be very, very intense. It's going to be intense. And, uh, you know, there are young teams who, who are like they are very hungry, and the, you you have these these uh, these old teams that have been there on top, like who are hungry to win another title, and it's 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 just like it's it's like the intensity is going to be there. It's going to be there for sure because everybody's trying to go at it. It's been a long time since they they hold a trophy, and you see these young guys saying, "Oh, we can make a difference. We believe in ourselves, so we are going to get that." So that's that's what makes it more fun. Definitely. Yeah. Now, you're an avid fan of the game in general. Do you have any specific favorite players or matchups that you enjoy watching? Yes, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm excited uh, really to see the matchup between uh, Carlos and, and Mo, uh, Maurice Dior. And I, I, think, I think a lot of people in Africa are, are really, really looking forward to that matchup. And, and it's, it's becoming more personal now and you know <laughs> that's I'm, I'm really excited to see that match because they're both great players really good players athletic and you know really really uh, aggressive and 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 
you know, they, I, I'm, I'm excited for that matchup. I can't wait to see that. They're both very intense players. Um, yeah. I'll be interested to see how um, Carlos handles Mo's length. Um, yeah. I don't think he'll be used to having a defender that kind of size right. on him. But right. Carlos is a very experienced player, so I'm sure he's got uh, tools that he can use to work around that. But I agree with you. I think that matchup, I think it's Friday, the 27th of November, marked right. in the calendar. Correct. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> I will, I will do. I'll do a lot of scouting. I will on 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 Carlos, so I can help more on that because you know. Oh, I, no I, doubt. I'll, I'll give him some. I'll give him some tips. <laughs> <laughs> now, between qualifiers and Senegal potentially lifting the 2021 Afro Basket trophies, which teams do you think face the biggest? Hat will be the most challenging for Senegal. For Senegal, you know, it's it's. I think it it will be it, it will be the same that we've seen in the past, but because like I mean the young the young teams that I've you know I know they're growing and 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 I'm not I'm not putting them on the side or throwing them under the bus or anything, but I know they will be out there and I'm sure there will be a team one of the young teams that will come and surprise everybody. But uh, definitely Tunisia, Nigeria, and Angola will be very will be very uh, will be very challenging uh, to during this. Uh, uh, Alpha basket for sure. Now to put you on the spot, yeah. and I know you got to show some love to your Senegalese guys, but yeah. that aside, who do you think is the best player in Africa? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, one of the one of the tough question that I like to answer. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and you know, uh, Gorgi Gorgi is he's been tremendous. He's been tremendous, and him and Maurice and you too. They've been they've been amazing, and you you can see how they've been putting up numbers. But just to just not to be on you know, people thinking that I'm 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 favoring my only my players. But uh, I will have to go with uh, Carlos. Carlos is uh, the year I've been watching this guy play. Bryce is 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 a. Uh, is, is tremendous very very good player and you just most of the reason is just like what i like about it is like the leadership that that he has you know carrying his 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 team and and on and off the court you see him on the bench and and you know getting getting his team together and when he's on the floor he he does you know he practice what he preached so that's that's what i like about him and he, he earns my respect and I, yeah, I would definitely go with Carlos Moraes on that one. No offense to Gorgi, you and, and Maurice, because I love you guys, but, you know. <laughs> In your unbiased opinion. <laughs> no, I, I think that's a great choice. I think yeah. Carlos is definitely the best or one of the best players in Africa and he's continued continued to develop his game, not just as a shooter, but, you know, rebounder, assists, steals. Yeah. He's, he's wor he works on both ends of the floor, but like you said, leadership, um, he's a he's an absolute pro and a great veteran for that team. Right, right, right. And 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 you know that's 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 how he that's how he get himself, you know, far apart from uh, from 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 other players but uh it's you know he, he he's he's a really good player and, and I, I respect him a lot i respect him do you have a young player um that you're excited to see in action during these qualifiers like anybody we should keep an eye out on um uh, oh man it's uh you know when it for I won't go. I won't go with my. I won't go with my players. I won't go with my okay. players. Is uh, because people might think it's not fair anymore, you know. But, <laughs> but oh, but you can show some love to your guys. Yes, there's there's Al Kali. There's Al Kali. Al Kali Moore. Uh, he's in. He's uh, he he plays in the league in Senegal. A great guard. Really really good player. And and you have um, you have Maktar Gay. Maktar Gay. Mm -hmm. He was in the World yep. Cup. And and and. Yeah. He, for sure, need to need to keep eye on that guy. And and there's um, oh, there's uh, my one and there's a one the player. Uh, oh Steven, yeah, I know who you're talking Steven. about. Yeah, 
Steven. Steven is, is he's he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be a good player. And and you know he haven't had the challenge, haven't had the the, the opportunity yet. And I'm sure it will come. It will come. He just need like more work and more experience, and it will be there. Steven is you know I'm I'm really excited to see that guy. He, he you know do do great stuff. Awesome. Well, Karabani, <laughs> I'll hand questions over to you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I was chilling in the background. Hey, how you doing, Remy? I'm doing good, brother. How are you doing? I am doing great. I, uh, I was listening to what you guys are talking about, and um, I have a couple of questions that I want to throw out there. I know you uh, told uh, Coach Liz that you are video coordinator, to analyze videos and all that. Can you please yeah. break that down so simple people like myself would understand because we don't really understand. Are you like a glorified highlight creator or what exactly is that? <laughs> so, well, what the what the video coordinator consists of is uh, it's gathering, gathering films uh, based on the, the team, on your opponent who you're going to play against. So we have what we call the live coding. So where we cutting up the game while the game is going on at the same time. So it's, it's the live coding. So now with the technology, you, we are able to do that. And, and, but most, most like, that's the most important part and the, the, the software that we're using, that's, that's, that's what it's created. The main reason why it's created for that and, and getting, uh, films from your opponent, offense, defense, and all that. So you can get that all through the, the video through the video stuff and that's very important to, to to have these days not just not just in the nba but i recommend it to, you know for a lot of teams to use because it's it, it's huge it's very important because it does a lot of work behind the scene that a lot of people don't see but it's it's very important so for for some of my coaches that i know are here in africa i know uh they probably thinking man so you mean I gotta grab a laptop and then install Final Cut in there so while the game is going on, I can chop it up and then show it to the coach? Is this yeah. what you guys do? I mean, can you explain it yeah. to us? Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is what it's, that's what we do. That's what we do. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't see it. Like, you know, people, they, they go watch the games. They go to super, they see the superstars. They see the coaches. You know, which is fair because that's what they all show them. But there are a lot of people behind the scene, especially the video coordinator, who like spends a lot of time, a lot of time gathering this film for the coaches and for the players. So, for example, it's it can be. It, it's not just we, we're not just working for the coach. We coach. We work for the players also. So let's say, for example, uh, we on pregame, and then Joel and B would would just walk up and it's like hey can you can you get me the clips of uh Serge Ibaka for his last game the last how like all his points and within within not even five minutes or three minutes we can get that to him on the laptop and just give it to him yeah yeah so that's how the advanced technology we're using right now is so it's so good and within the short period of time you can get the clips that you want and half time like you will be coding live and coach wants some clips that he wants to show at half time so during the live coding you can cut that clip and put it aside for a coach to see and you know he might request it or maybe you have it already for him so that's how sophisticated this technology is and it's 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 great it's great Okay, so how does that translate now since you're going to be working with the national team, how, uh, the uh, Senegalese national team, how will that translate to uh, an African squad? Do you guys possess that kind of technology? Uh, well, we, we do not. We, we do not. It, it is a very expensive, uh, it is a very expensive program to use to, honestly, and, and I, I understand, I understand uh, why certain African country won't invest much in it because they, they they do not compete just like the NBA do playing 82 games you're in a different city every two games but you know but I understand like I understand why certain countries don't want to 
really invest in that because the competition or you know like year month so i it's it's but i would i would you know encourage certain certain countries who can afford it or are able to get a hold of it to 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 get it but meanwhile i mean while i'm here with the team senegal i, I would be helping them with, with, with you know with whatever they need so okay so I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question it might be a little controversial and i might be putting you on the spot so are you just gonna be eating senegalese money what are you gonna be doing if you can't do that what exactly is your role now if you're gonna be with a team and then all that gear and equipment you don't have there what is remy gonna be doing with the team well i mean i'm i mean or is it a vacation I'm, <laughs> no, I mean since uh, since I'm in the position where I have the the program with me, and I was fortunate to work with the NBA team, and and um, and having their permission to let me use that program, so I will be able to use that 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 technology while I'm with the Senegal national team. But it's oh. the only thing is I can't I can take it there with me and work it I work with it but I can't leave it there. It's it's the way that the program is set up. I can take it like work with them and share share uh, share you know scouting reports and stuff like that. Just help them right. get the scouting report. But when it comes to the program, it's like it's 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 under the team. It's under seven six two's name. So okay. and Karabani, it mu- it's also good to know that there are other versions of um, sports code or synergy um, that are cheaper and more available. I know for the Basketball Africa League, they're looking at um, a cheaper version of that and a less sophisticated version that all te- all 12 teams will use. So this will be a great way to introduce the concept of video to clubs in Africa. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Synergy, you know, synergy is one of our uh, Whatever another tool we we still we, we use synergy also we use synergy also and we can use synergy and transfer it to sports code that's why those two huddle huddle synergy and sports code exactly. they all work together they all work together so that's that's a that's a combination to uh, to that yeah okay pretty dope okay so now since you do all these analysis and all that right mm-hmm. we had Ike or Ike to have a pronunciation you would like to use we had him here the captain for the nigerian team he had some of his own assessment that he dropped on the show he told us that nigeria is top five in the world what do you think of that he he <laughs> that's uh that's, that's that's a great statement right there you know he has his he has his confidence opinion. Right there, yeah. That's and and that's 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 a high. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very high number. That's a very high number. But respect to that, respect to that, and and, and shout out to him by the way. Who uh, you know, I I admire a lot. But and, and t- t- top five, I'm I don't know. I I I don't know. And we're not beefing. Senegal, Nigeria, we're not beefing. <laughs> Just so really, you, I got to really? make it clear out there. We love each other, uh, but uh, you know, if I would say, if I would say, if they had the same roster that they had during the World Cup, or the roster that they said they were gonna have for the Olympics with the coach Mike Brown, Dinwiddie, uh, Jaleel Okafor, uh, you know. You know, if you if they had that squad, I would put them in top ten in the world. They would be in my top ten in the world. Yeah, they would be my top ten in the world. But putting them in top five, oh man, it, it's a stretch. It, 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 <laughs> it, 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 it is. I mean, so so Sam, <laughs> since you probably have done this and you know all the assessment and the analysis that you've done you probably do have a top 10 in the world can you quickly just uh, throw it out there so we know who else is in the top 10 since Nigeria is in there so can you give us the other nine <laughs> sure well we all know who's number one is <laughs> <laughs> don't even bother <laughs> 
<laughs> but she didn't just went go from two to ten, you know. Yeah, two to ten. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I, I would, I would, you know, USA is there, uh, Spain is there. Um, is it, uh, is that France. the order? Is that the order that we going? US number one, two, Spain. We going from one to ten, right? Yeah, yeah, we go one to ten. We go one to ten. We go okay. one to ten. <laughs> no, Karabani, the U.S. is number ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the USA, Spain, uh, France, Serbia. Really? You you doing this on purpose? Ooh, uh, who, 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 uh, uh, Australia? Yes. Yeah, maybe. Oh, 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 that's why Coach Liz was tripping. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know what? Let me let me rethink here. What what did I say before? I I gotta get it right. This is the thing. I have to get it right before I I. Uh, before you better I, push us up the list. Thank you. Oh, We've got so thirteen we NBA players. USA, Spain, uh -huh. uh, France, Serbia, France. Serbia, Australia. Australia. Thank you. You know, of course. I, you know, I, I got a love Ben. I got a love Ben too. <laughs> and uh, you will definitely have a uh, can't sleep on Canada on six. Number six. Uh, Argentina on seven. All right. Um. Lithuania on eight. Okay. Interesting. Um, I hope you're gonna put Senegal in here somewhere. Ni Ni Nigeria, <laughs> Nigeria and Senegal at nine, and Angola, <laughs> Angola and ten. So wait a minute, that's eleven. It can't be. So that you just kicked I, out I, Angola. I, no, no, I that's know, eleven. It, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. So we got <laughs> nine. <laughs> We, number we, nine. So you're saying for number nine, nine we got Senegal it. and Nigeria tied. So there is no number ten. <laughs> I can't I, can, believe can I, it. We don't have the I, most winningest team from Africa, Angola, in your top ten. This is your now. Can, can I can I step in here, Remy? Sorry, please. just to right. to say I, how a team perform, performs in Africa doesn't necessarily translate to how they will perform in a global competition. Um, some of our top African teams have players suited more to a global game, um, whereas some teams are based around, like Tunisia and Angola, are suited more to the African game. Right. So they'll compete on a continental level, but when it comes to a World Cup, you'll see teams like Senegal, Nigeria, right. um, really come to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Ooh, hold on a second here. So you mean to tell me who? Lord, oh Lord, Coach Liz. Are you really telling me that Tunisia and Angola have nothing to do with the rest of the world? They only dominate Africa. Is this what you're telling me? Well, I'm saying that their players aren't as experienced in international tournaments. Like, they don't have players who play overseas or have come through universities overseas. I think when it comes to playing on an international stage, right. having that kind of perspective and experience really matters. And that's where they can't take necessarily their African experience and right. translate that into a successful international performance. Okay, I understand that. Like I said, you talking to somebody that's on that elementary school level. That's me and some of our fans. Uh -huh. All I'm asking is, are you telling us, us, all of us back here, that Tunisia and Angola cannot compete at that top level, the world, the well, global results, level? Well, results prove, prove that they can't. You okay. look at their performance. You look at performances in Olympics and um, World Cups, I think Senegal and Nigeria have more wins, even though Angola has been competing in World Cups and Olympics since like 2000. Right. Remy, help so, me out. So no, Remy, yeah, I, 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 was, I, I, I was about to jump to Remy now. Remy, so this is you now. You, you're, also, you're also throwing Tunisia and Angola out there. Ooh, <laughs> look at Remy right there. <laughs> You know, it's 
but but like 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 coach like like coach said i, I mean at some point you you you, you got to see the reality how you, you just think about how other teams they them playing in the highest level with the amount of games that they play the routine that they keep compared to those teams like when they play it's like maybe like what once a week in their in their uh domestic leagues right right so i mean it's you have a player plays 82 games he he's in the room like he's the momentum he's out there he's out like he's he feels the game like he has the experience of the game but when on the other hand it's game day off practice 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 game day off but here it's like game day off game practice game so you you see the difference you see the difference there okay i i i'm i'm <laughs> i'm waiting for the results i mean we'll see of course Liz, i understand like i said you know what i mean you guys do the analysis we just watch it we consuming we just you know take it every we digested everything you guys are telling <laughs> but you know Karabani, how much i respect both those teams and I and I actually to this day will argue that Tunisia are the best team in Africa, and I I will go into bat for them because I truly believe that. Yeah, I mean, like, respect to them, respect to Angola and Tunisia for sure. I, you know, no doubt Angola has been out there for being on top for a long period of time. A lot of respect. They have the best player, and you know, it, a lot of respect to them. So, so it's almost kind of like you guys, what you're telling me is, uh, you know, uh, competition in Africa is the regular season and then, you know, the playoffs, they can't hack it in the playoffs. So they're a regular, they're a regular season team is pretty much that's what it is. <laughs> that's a good analogy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they but they have an event. For the they regular have an event. They have an advantage in Africa because their players are domestic based and they get to play with each other all the time uh, in the local league and they have been able to build experience and camaraderie together. Whereas if I'm looking at Senegal, they've got 12 guys coming from 12 different places and have two days to train together. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, yeah. so uh, we, let's keep it moving to the next thing. All right, um, I do feel that African coaches do more than a lot of coaches out there. Like uh, you just explained to us that you have this super computer or super program that pretty much just pulls out everything in seconds, whatever they need, they get. They can make decisions, well-educated decisions because the resources are there to help them out. And some of these African coaches just have to go with what they see out there. And you see the staff is just one person and probably somebody else out there rubbing players when they get injured. That's about it. And some don't even have it. It's just the coach, right? That's the way it goes down. So, so, all right, so with, all that, with, all that, with all that being said, what I want to ask is, can you just give a nod to like three coaches out there that you feel that are doing a really great job in Africa? Well, you know, like you said, and 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 to second what you said, they they they're doing a wonderful job. Not having all the technology and all the resources, like honestly, they're doing a phenomenal job. And, and I give them a lot of credit. Like, I like I I don't even know where they're gonna pull up the the games or stuff like that, you know, because I mean, back in the day, if you want to watch the game, you'll go on YouTube and and that's, that's all. But now it's growing. It's grown. They I'm I'm pretty sure now there are other resources out there that are helping coaches to 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 grow through the through that and and but with the coaches you know i can't i know boni coach boni Fox just got the job and and you know he's i can't i can't rank him yet i can't put him in, in that because he, people will say it's not fair because you know but he will be there he will be there so coach if you're watching so you so you know i'm throwing you under the bus uh, but uh, Coach Shesar like used to coach the men's and you know took them to the finals and took the women's national team to 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 the 
to the World Cup and where they had their first win. And he he was a he was a coach that I that I you know looked up to with his X's and O's in in, in Africa and uh, the the Angola and Nigeria coach. You, you know you can't you can't uh, you can't leave them oh, behind boy. with. Uh, with, with with the result that they that they have but that they have there and because they've they've done they've done a lot they've done a lot in in the past so and with the result with the the titles that they have you you know you you have to uh yeah you, you, you have to support you have to support them and, and be on their sides for sure uh Karabani, i think yes. um our, our fans need to look up mario palmer he has five Afro basket titles. I think he's got four with Angola and one with Tunisia. He is the Phil Jackson of Africa. He's Coach a Palmer. <laughs> yeah. He's um he's Portuguese, but he's yeah. lived and worked in Angola, Tunisia, and Africa for decades. Um, I think he definitely deserves a shout out as well. Yeah, Coach. I mean, you know, I I, I haven't met him yet. I I haven't met him, and and I. Uh, really really hope to, to to meet him to meet him one day and and have just like a good five minutes and just to kind of know the background and the resources he used while winning those titles because he is very important because the technology we have right now i'm pretty sure he didn't have it back then but i would love to know how you know he managed that so that's you know it, it, like just me being in the being working with the with the NBA team doesn't mean you know I, I have it all, but those type of things is something that I'm really into to to kind of know how he did that with the short amount of resource. So that's I'm I'm really looking forward to meeting him and 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 sit down even if it's two minutes. Yeah, I, you know <laughs> I know he's a legend. He might think, oh man, I don't have your time, but it's all good. If it's just two minutes, I would love to meet him for sure. Great. Great. Um, I know we have very little time, because Liz, you, do you have any more questions? Uh, I just want to finish, Remy, with a coach about a question about female coaches. Yeah. Um, the Senegalese women's national team has been very successful, um, but unfortunately have never had a head coach. Obviously, the men have never had the privilege of having a female coach. Yeah. So what um, what are they doing in Senegal to provide opportunities for female coaches? Yes, uh, I, you know, that's 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 a very interesting topic right there, and and I think it's very very important, very important to uh, to 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 start like bringing them on board. We have to bring them on board, and and I saw that they they have promoted. Uh, Couple of female uh, coaches with the with the national teams uh, under 18, and so they they assigned them to the female coaches to that. And 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 in the future, you know, if I if I ever end up uh, coaching a team, I will for sure have a female assistant on my, on my side. So so just to grow that tree, because they, they they will take over no matter what they they're gonna take over, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you coach Mill, you you will take a, you will have a team. You know, you will have a team soon. Soon, I, 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 I believe. I believe in it. I believe in you with the job that you've been doing all over our country and all over uh, our continent. We, we we appreciate what you do. It's not like people are not watching what you're doing. Like people are paying attention to what you're doing because you know you love the sports. You know the game, and 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 you 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 you're showing it, and people are paying attention to that. So don't think that you know they. You, you're in the back. No, you're you're with us. You're with us, and you will take over. And I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see you uh, be on board. And I'm I'm sure you you, you will take a team on my back. No no doubt in my mind. You, you, you're hard work. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, really Remy. It. Oh, no I really problem. appreciate that. <laughs> right. Um. So we 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 pretty much in that um that segment where you get to sell Senegal. To the mm -hmm. rest of uh, the world, because we have fans like all over the world. Ain't that right, Coach Liz? Right? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so, so promote Senegal. Why should people come visit Senegal? Uh, we're talking about 
Senegal, the best country in the world right now. <laughs> oh, that's a big statement. <laughs> Should we go to the top ten again? Oh no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, Senegal has a lot of resources. Um, uh, the background, the history, when it comes to uh, slavery, it was it was a it was a point where um, you know slaves were shipped from there, and that that island still there. A lot of a lot of famous people, you know, um, Obama, a lot of president, a lot of people came and visit, and they 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 still they still feel the emotion there, and that's 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 what it's about. That's that's really what it's about, like knowing the culture and knowing the background, and having that in Senegal is huge. And so I recommend a lot of people to to uh, to really you know you know get into that, and also you know it's 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 a beautiful country, honestly. People are amazing. And uh, the food is great. Um, everybody, you're very welcome. You know, the hospitality is there, and 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 great food, great food. I I won't stop. I can't stop saying that. <laughs> you know, I miss it already. But you know, and, and great people, great people. So I, you know, the tourism is growing. Tourism is growing, and having now young. Young athlete, like seed alumni, kids, like young people who attended basketball without borders, are now running the tourism in Senegal. You know, the African cool. tourism, so yeah, African tourism solution is 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 out there, and you know, they uh, they they hosted the whole NBA basketball without borders, and they took the 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 guests to the Lion Park, which I didn't know we had. <laughs> so they, you'll see the people walking with the lions and stuff like that. And and I was born and raised there. I had no idea we had there. So that's some, something that you know I really recommend and encourage people to come and and, and visit. Nice. Sounds amazing. And we have the yes, best sports team. We have. You have the best Ooh. sports team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here right. we go again. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, just uh, just before we wrap it up, one last question I'm going to ask you. Do you believe, do you believe from all the footage that you've seen and all the analysis that you've done, do you believe Senegal can actually win it all? Afro yes. Basket 2021. Yes, yes. I, yes, I believe, I strongly believe, um, you know, we have new talent, new staff, new... New, new, new technology. <laughs> so uh, yes, yes, and 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 the young the young guys are are very very talented, and we we need uh we need the vets, we need their experience. Like I said earlier, to just you know get those rookies on their wings and just like teach them the way, and we'll we'll for sure be on top. And and I believe in my guys, I believe in my coworkers, and 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 I'm sure that. Uh, I'm confident that we'll we'll be there. Excited to see you guys in a couple of weeks. We've got this recorded, so uh, yes, yes, um, Coach Liz, yes, we do, yes, we do. <laughs> uh, you know, you might have regret some of the things you just said. <laughs> hey, you know, I I won't I won't come up with with any excuses. Yes, I, I've said it here, and and if, if, if we we will, I don't want to see if we don't, but you know, we will, we will. We will use do our power, do all we can to not to not uh, to support. And I know I will send this clip to the guys so they watch it, so they know I made a statement and they won't let me down. So hope this will be a motivation for them. You know, <laughs> love oh, it. Yeah. Great idea. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll interview you after the games in Rwanda, and okay. we'll see. <laughs> With the trophy. Oh, oh, wait a minute. The mood might be different, Chris Liz. It might be totally different. <laughs> oh, no. I'm calling Remy after that game against Angola. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. That regular season team. That's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, big, big, uh, you know, it's uh, like I said, big shout out to Tavares, you know, Carlos, very great, great player. But like I said, I will be spending 
days and night, just 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 checking that guy out. Make sure every move he takes, I know Maurice is out there. You know. That's right. <laughs> so, All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Remy. You've been great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so you much, so for, much. Uh, for having Thank me. Thank you. And, you know, looking forward to uh, seeing you guys again soon. And, uh, and, and thank you for doing this. Thank you for helping, you know, our continent, our sport to be represented and, and be known all over the world. And you, you, you guys are doing a great thing. And, you know, keep forcing it. Keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.